Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to share a tip with you on using a piece of acetate to mask. And the reason I tried this is because I am sick and tired of painter's tape ripping my paper after I've spent time ink blending. So the piece of acetate that you see here is something that I printed in my inkjet printer and created a grid mat so I could cut out with an X-Acto knife um, the exact square size that I wanted. So I used a piece, um, some uh, removable adhesive tape to secure my paper down onto a craft mat, which is clipped to a clipboard and, or adhered to a clipboard. And then I just put the cutout piece of the acetate to put that down exactly where I wanted it. And now I'm using some post-it sticky notes to uh, secure that down so it doesn't flip up while I'm doing the bl ink blending. So I know you can use masking tape and everything, but I seem to have poor luck with that um, by using the blue painter's tape. And I wanted to see if this would work. And if you cut a piece of acetate down, you could actually you know, cut it so that it goes through your die cutting machine and either cut a square shape or a circle shape or an oval, uh, the sky's the limit basically. And I'm not going to be doing a perfect job blending here, but I wanted to show you how well this works. So the concept is the same as when you are blending. You, you want to take and start with your ink blending tool and bring it um, onto the acetate and toward the paper and uh, holding it down a little bit to kind of reinforce the strength of the acetate. But I tried this the first time in the, and I was very impressed with how it turned out. And I love the fact that you can just lift up the acetate and not have anything rip your paper or mart. And then you can just cut your piece down to size. So again, I'm just uh, not doing a perfect job ink blending here. And when I was cutting this particular piece out, I didn't get the square or the edges absolutely perfect. Perfect. This was just a little bit of a test for me. So I wanted to see how it would work. So again, I'm not going to do a perfect blending job here because this is just done on a scratch piece of paper to kind of see how well this would work. And I wanted to show you how, um, how neat this idea is. So I'm going to just go one more time around with the blue to get a little bit more blending done. And um, you'll see here when I lift up this acetate, um, how, how perfect this turned out. So here I am lifting up a piece of the acetate and you can see that when I lift this up using the removable tape that it comes off nicely and look at the crisp clean edges. I just love how this turned out and I'll be using this idea and concept for uh, my future projects when I want to do ink blending with edges that don't rip. And then to clean it up you can just use either baby wipe or a wipe, uh, wet piece of paper towel and clean up the edges maybe punch a hole in the corner of it and store it that way for future use. So I'm sure you can get several uses out of it. I hope this helped everyone. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.